Okay, so in this one we're going to evaluate an exponential function. So they give us the function and they want us to evaluate f of 2 without using the calculator. Now, some of you might say, oh, but I wanted to use my calculator. Um, we're going to show you how to do these with a calculator because some of them you have to do that. Uh, we'll be using a scientific calculator. Um, if you have a graphing calculator, it will have all the features as well. Um, but we also wanted to do one by hand so we could go over the order of operations. Okay, so f of 2 in this case is going to be 5 times 3 to the 2 plus 1. Now notice all of that is the exponent. So you really have to look at that to make sure you understand where the exponent is because it's going to make a big difference if that 1 is in the exponent or if it's down like a plus 1. You know, think back to your transformations. Um, one would be a horizontal shift and the other would, or yeah, shift, and the other would be a vertical shift. Okay, but we won't worry about that right now, the graphing part. We're just going to evaluate this. Okay, so we get 5 times 3 to the third power, okay, so 2 plus 1, that, one, that one's not too bad, right, <laughs> 3, and then you have to do the exponent first, according to the order of operations, we do exponents before multiplication, so that's going to be 5 times 27, and I have to do that by hand, because it said not to use a calculator, sad that I'm writing this out, okay, I'm getting 135, Okay, just a review of multiplying. So when we evaluate that function at 2, we're getting 135. So again, we were just going over the order of operations. There was some calculating to do in the exponent, and that can happen on these. So just so that you understand, you do that work in the exponent, then you apply the exponent, which is what we did here, and then finally we did the multiplication. Okay.